The next set of tactical patterns we're going to look at are expectation breakers. Now, I particularly like these because it's a point in the chart where people won't notice unless they understand this style of investing. It's, it's not very obvious to most people. Also, as I mentioned prior, a failed move is usually a fast move. So the whole concept behind the expectation breaker and how we're going to use it is that it's a stock that looks like it's going to break lower. It has all the te technical characteristics of a stock that's about to fall, yet it turns around and moves higher. So everyone who was either selling the stock or shorting the stock suddenly realize like, uh oh, we got to buy our stock back. And on top of that, once the move begins to accelerate to the upside, you get additional buyers that come back in. So this forcing people back into the stock and drawing in new people really creates a funnel of buying that propels the stock higher relatively quickly. So what I've done is I've compiled four different styles of doing this in this category, four different patterns, and it's likely going to be a new way of thinking for most people. And so I really think that it would be great if you would explore this idea further and look at the markets from this new angle and really try and piece together in your mind how the market participants are thinking, what's happening to them, and when people are being forced to cover their short or buy back their position they've sold. And these, this is really the dynamics that drives all of these positions. But I think it's really acute in this example, specifically with the expectation breakers. So the first example I want to look at here is the 50-day moving average bad break recovery. So again, like we spoke in the breakout pattern with the 50-day moving average, the 50-day is really a key indicator, a key moving average. And oftentimes, we'll see later, that's even a sell signal if you break the 50-day average significantly. But many times, there's a, there'll be a pullback to the 50-day and there'll be a day of significant selling with quite a bit of volume that comes in. Now, the expectation when that happens is that the trend is being broken, sellers are dominating, and we should be going lower from this point on. So taking back the high of that day, of that bar that is breaking the 50-day, completely breaks the expectation of what everybody was thinking. Anyone who sold their position, worried that the 50-day break was going to lead to lower prices, realizes they have to buy their position back. Anyone who sold short is going to want to cover, and everyone who realizes that this was just actually a, a test of the 50 and not a true break will want to start buying the stock. And so relatively quickly, you see here, once that buy happened above the, prior, uh, above the high of the bad break, you get a very quick move higher. I mean, within two days, you have uh, five times your risk. And again, with all the other patterns, the way I place my initial stop placement is whatever stock breaks above the high of the bad break, just use the low of that bar as your stop. And you get some really low risk entry points. Here we had a $1 risk. So very quickly you had $5 to the upside. Not long after you had 30 times your risk and you can see this stock just kept going. So I mean, looking at this chart here and this uptrend to think that you could have nailed a really precise buy point off the low bar of this this move is fantastic and the upside happened really quickly usually because the expectation breaker causes such a funnel of buying as i mentioned before it's rare that you'll have a lot of backpedaling that goes on if it's a true expectation breaker you should get a substantial move rather rather quickly and rather strongly here's another example of alterix so we were consolidating sideways and we pulled back to the 50 day. It was showing actually a lot of relative strength whereas the market was falling rather strongly here. Uh, Alteryx was going just sideways. And we had our bad break of the 50 day. We closed below the average rather strongly. The volume did pick up 37% above average. And you can see what happened here is we also had a mini coil which we discussed earlier which is a